So Samsung's back with a big upgrade for Galaxy Tab users. You know, Mom, because using a tablet has always been such an extreme sport that we needed this software to make it feel like we're working on a desktop. Because nothing screams excitement like turning your sleek, portable tablet into a mini computer that your grandparents would say, ah, yes, that's the future. Google's been working on improving Android for large screens. Thank goodness, because using a tablet before felt like wrestling with a rubber duck in a pool. You'd tap, and the thing would just slide off somewhere. But now, with these new updates, it's like they finally discovered that people actually want their apps to function on a screen bigger than their palm. Revolutionary stuff, right? And what's that shiny new feature? Tap dragging. Oh, hold on, let me contain my excitement. A feature where you can tap something and drag it? Samsung, you're too wild. You know your product is out of ideas when they're promoting dragging. Like it's some kind of futuristic magic trick. It's like someone at the meeting said, guys, remember how we've been tapping and dragging for the last 10 years? Let's market that again, but slower and call it innovation. So now you don't have to press and hold the trackpad to move stuff around. Wow, finally a way to save 0.2 seconds of my life. Thanks, Samsung. I can just imagine the board meeting. Okay, people, what's the most unnecessarily basic function we can take and make it sound mind-blowing? Dragging things, let's slap a name on it. Market it like it's the cure for cancer. Oh, and the three finger gestures? Because two fingers were just not enough and one finger is for peasants. We're out here finger dancing on our trackpads now. Like we're playing a piano concerto. Samsung is basically telling us, your fingers, we've got plans for them. Multi-finger Olympics, baby. Tap, swipe, swipe again. And now, be impressed. The customizable mouse pointer because the pointer just wasn't fashionable enough. Thank goodness I can now style my cursor. Forget getting work done. My cursor needs to look fabulous while it glides across the screen. I bet the next update will let me give it a hat and sunglasses. Now let's talk about foldables. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, because when regular is just too basic, you gotta go ultra. You know, like buying the extra large popcorn at the movies when you know you won't finish it, but it makes you feel important. Except, surprise, the Ultra is not even coming to the rest of the world. It's like Samsung's dangling a shiny new toy just out of reach. Like, oh, you want this? Too bad. Only South Korea and China get to play with it. Thanks, Samsung. We didn't need that $2,000 phone anyway. Oh, and get this. The Ultra version might be the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim in China. Wait, what? Slim, Ultra, make up your mind, Samsung. Are we bulking up or slimming down? This phone's got more versions than an Instagram filter. It's like they're running a name generator. Galaxy Z Fold Slim Ultra. Oh, let's throw in Max just for fun. And now they're teasing a bigger outer display. Finally, we'll be able to type without feeling like we're trying to write a novel on a postage stamp. Thanks, Samsung. The phone's been folding this whole time, but no one thought to make it usable. You can fold it, but don't actually use it. Just look at it, okay? The camera module? Yeah, sure, let's give it a new design. Forget about improving the photos. Just make sure it looks cool while taking blurry shots of your dog running in the park. Who cares if the photo quality is the same as your 2015 flip phone? At least it'll look high tech. And there you have it, the future of tablets and foldables, where we get excited about dragging things, tapping with more fingers than necessary, and pretending like foldable phones are the answer to all life's problems. Stay tuned for next year's update, where you'll be able to customize the volume buttons with emojis.